So welcome back to my channel and I thought that I would do a bit of an update video for you guys. So first of all, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that watched my honest moving vlog. I had no idea that so many people were going to watch it and I, that I would get so many comments and really nice comments. Um, it was a really hard um, video to film and I did debate about putting it up and I'm really glad that I did. I thought that you guys would probably want to know how I've been getting on in my new house and so I thought I would do a little bit of a, yeah, a bit of an update vlog, take you along with me for the week because I've got some housey bits happening this week and a couple of things in London and yeah, just let you see how life is now that I've moved. Um, and I promise that this vlog won't have as much crying in it as that other one did. <laughs> I've been in the house for over a month now and I must confess, I do love it. It's such a nice road, it's really quiet, the people are really, really nice, but I'm so close to town. In 10 minutes, well not even that, wander into town, get a coffee, pick up bits from the shops and walk home. It's really, really nice. I'm also really, really close to a really beautiful park to walk the dogs. Um, after this, I am going to do a little mini tour because I know that you're going to want a bit of a nosy of what it's like because I didn't really show much of it in the other vlog. There's still quite a lot um, to still do and because it's rented, it's like I want to put up some pictures and before I can do that, I have to ask permission to put hooks on the wall and that is obviously different to what I'm used to. I'm used to just doing whatever I want. On the whole, my first month and a bit has been really good. I do feel a bit like I'm just moving boxes and stuff from room to room. Like, I don't have a single room that's kind of finished and not full of crap, to be honest. I feel a lot lighter in my sort of like Ment mental state, is that even what I want to say? But I feel a lot lighter having moved. I don't, I'll, although I think about my house in, in um, the village, I don't really, to be honest, this is now where I live now. And so, um, yeah, a kind of big weight lifted off my shoulders once I'd moved and that first morning that I woke up here. I feel a little bit sad because I've had to sort of do some things like choose a new sofa because my sofa doesn't fit and some other things for the house and it is a little bit sad having to do those things on your own. It's exciting but it's also I'm not used to not having somebody to say oh what do you think of this or shall we get this or a couple of things that have happened since the moving vlog. So one was that my divorce came through. That's obviously quite a big deal. Uh, again, it's something that's a, a big weight off my mind. It's another sort of tick of something that's done and dusted and I can, you know, put to one side. And so to sort of mark the occasion, I had made a video. The only place that you can watch it is on my Instagram stories. It is saved as a highlight. I'll link it in the description box. Please do watch it. If you haven't watched it, I'm really pleased that I made it. Um, it cheers me up whenever I watch it, so please head over to my Instagram highlights and have a watch. So that was the first thing. The second thing was I had a divorce dinner. I knew I wanted to mark it as a thing. It wasn't a big celebration, it wasn't a woohoo, ding dong, the witch is dead or anything like that. It was more of a, this is the start of a next chapter and also an opportunity to say thank you to the people who, like my friends who had helped me through. So I went for a dinner at this restaurant I've wanted to go to for ages, got really, really dressed up and Emma came and stayed overnight um, so she could come to the dinner and yeah, all of my friends were there and yeah, it was just lovely. It was really good, really uplifting night um, and yeah, it was one hell of a, a week. So that's kind of happened since the moving vlog. And yeah, now it's just a matter of getting on with my life in my new house. Um, I still have contact with my ex about um, the dogs. So uh, although I keep the dogs, he does still have um, input into um, what happens and what veterinary care we choose to uh, give Eddie. So Eddie's really not very well and that's one of the things that has changed since the moving vlog. He has got worse. See, now I'm going to get upset. I said I wasn't going to cry in this vlog. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. He is not very well. 
he is in that stage where I'm now kind of waiting for that moment when it will be the right time to have him put down. He has cancer, he has a heart murmur, he has all these problems, he's on so much medication and there hits a point where you have to think about what's fair to him and how much medication do you want to keep putting down his throat. That has been really, really hard, I'm not going to lie, and I've had a couple of moments in this new house where I've cried, I've rang my parents and said that I'm really struggling on my own to cope with him and everything, um, because it is a bit of an emotional roller coaster going through that. And on the whole, I am feeling more positive. Um, I think the move, um, yeah, it, it really did lift a weight. So anyway, you want to nosy round this house, so let's give you a little bit of a nosy round my new pad. So you'll have seen bits and bobs of this on my Instagram. So the downstairs is already all knocked through, uh, which is lovely. It's all already white, which is great. Um, and the accent colour is black. So there's already these black built-in shelves and this black um, fireplace. My sofa sadly doesn't fit. So at the moment it is split in half. The sofa end is here pushed up against the wall and the chaise end is here in the corner and this tends to be where I sit. So uh, I am gonna get a new sofa. I'm going to get a sofa that sits there like that one does a little bit further out. I'm gonna go for gray still. Um, and then I'm gonna actually get a pink snuggler armchair to sit here in this corner. So I can't have anything that extends too far because there is a door here, which leads to my understairs cupboard where I've got coats and my hoover and all those kind of things. And then, um, yeah, and then I've, I've sort of gone with the black theme, got myself a black TV unit. Um, I already had these marble tables from um, the old house, which were already black. So that fits in really nice put some of my bits and bobs on the shelves already and then down here so down here is a bit of a mess but this is I guess what would be the dining room so I got out all of my boxes of decor and they're all currently piled up on that table um, so it's a bit of a mess but yeah behind the sofa I've got my console table which was my Ikea hack that is going to stay there I think but I think I might transform it once again I think I might rehack it and turn it black and make a wooden top for the top. I haven't decided, but at the moment it's there with some plants on. And then here's gonna be my dining table with these two chairs on one side and a bench on the other. And I'm actually gonna do a DIY on that table as well um, with some wood that I've got. And then in this corner, you've probably seen this on my Instagram, I've got my big leaning selfie mirror. And then over here, just got a little shelving unit, which was in the living room in the old place and then this is quite a cool little addition so in this little room off my dining room is basically it is just essentially storage and um, they call it a study but I'm not sure I would want to work in here because obviously there's no uh, windows but it's a pretty big room and in here I've got my desk and all my stuff from my office I've got my chest of drawers, which I've got all my camera equipment in. I've got my printer in here. And then behind here is just basically a load of crap. I'm going to be honest, guys. But it all fits in here. And the brilliant thing is, is you can come out and you can shut the door. And it's all lovely and neat and tidied away in that room. So the fact that this house had that room was such a bonus and obviously one of the reasons why I went for it. And then yeah, you go through these double doors into the kitchen. So the kitchen is really, really not my taste. And I don't know if there's something that I could do with it. I probably could because I am a DIY wizard, but I think in the short term, I don't wanna spend my time and money on it if I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna stay how long or, you know what I mean. But again, a bit like the bathroom, it's really functional, it's quite big. Um, it's got appliances already all built in. I've got a washing machine. I've got a dishwasher. I've got a fridge freezer here uh, I've got a good cooker All of my stuff fits and again, it is big. It's light. It's bright and I can't complain about that. So um, The other side of the kitchen is a bit of a bomb site. All this stuff needs to go in my shed and over in the corner there, I want to get a unit to actually uh, put over there and um, store all the dog stuff in um, so I'm going to Ikea later in the week, so hopefully I will get that. And then um, 
the other thing that this ha house has is a little downstairs loo. Now, it's not as exciting as my old downstairs loo. However, once again, to have a downstairs loo is very, very handy. Um, and yeah, it's just quite neutral. I've put some of my gold accessories in here. I've got my mirror from my old uh, bathroom and a plant. And I'm gonna, on this wall, put a little print up that I've got. Out through this, see there's boxes everywhere. Out through this slightly narrow thing is my back garden. Which is a really, really nice size. And I've got a little shed there. It's perfect for Eddie to wander around in. Got a little patio area. It's a bit of a bomb site at the moment, as you can see. Um, but yeah, hello, Gus. It's really, really lovely um, to have. And actually, that's my garden there. But beyond that fence is a field area, and I'm actually allowed to use that as well. So if I ever want to take Gus out and throw the ball for him a little bit further, me and my next door neighbour have both got use of that garden beyond the fence, which is just incredible. And then upstairs, we've got two bedrooms. So I'm not going to show you the bedrooms today uh, for a couple of reasons. So through here is my bedroom, through here is a spare room. Not going to show you the spare room because it's a literal, actual bomb site. Do you know what? Actually, I'll show you. I'll show you the reality. Yeah, that's what the spare room looks like. Um, but I'm hoping to do a bit of a makeover and make a video on that. So I'm going to do a whole separate video on that room. And I, the other reason I'm not going to show you my bedroom is, well, kind of for the same reason. Because I want to do a bit of a tour because it's got some quite cool built-in wardrobes and a little dressing room. And I think it would be really cool to do a complete video. So I will show you the bathroom. So it's not obviously to my taste. That's the only thing with a rented place. You can't really control, you know, what the decor's like. And the only thing about this room is it is tiled from, from the floor all the way up, which means you don't really have any scope for painting walls and adding character. So for the moment, all I've done is added just my towels and obviously my bits and bobs, my beauty stuff and some accessories. Um, but I am going to do a little mini makeover on this room, hopefully, because what I would like to do is, I'm not a big fan of these blinds, you probably can't see them because it's so bright, but they're like vertical blinds and um, they're not my cup of tea. So. My plan is to do a little makeover, change the blinds, and I would like to do something really cool with the floor. I think that's how I could inject some interest into this room. I'm either going to do some kind of stenciling, if the landlord and landlady will let me, or maybe some kind of self-adhesive uh, pattern tiles or something. But that's what I would do in here because it is quite neutral and white. I've got some little bits and bobs on display, which I quite like. Um, and actually, I quite like this little blue stripe on the tile so I'm probably going to try and tie that in somehow with my colour scheme um but yeah you know it's doable it's also it is fairly big ish it's big enough to have a bath and there's a shower as well which you don't always get it's got a really lovely um big mirror it's really bright um so in that respect from a practical point of view I literally can't knock it I mean the sink's massive and then yeah at the top of the stairs I've got one of my planters which I had in my old place which I really like it just sits there in the corner and yeah I don't hate the carpets the carpets are nice and they're pretty good condition hello it is another miserable day yesterday was much much nicer Mr Royal Mail there I am just legging it up the hill to my local train station because I'm going to London today. Got a meeting and an event. So yeah, I thought I'd take you along. So no house stuff today, a day in London instead. So I'm just at an event with Argos home and it's all about sleep and trying to improve um, your quality of sleep at night and kind of think more carefully about how to get good quality of sleep and it also relates to the fact that they are now doing a whole range of duvets and pillows and everything so yeah I'm currently sat in one of their bedroom setups 
I bet you didn't know they sold mattresses. I didn't. And I'm sat on one. It's very nice. Very squishy. Quite fancy a lie down. So I'm back from London, just having a quick cup of tea, and then I'm going to take Gus out for a walk. Um, yeah, it was a nice little um, half a day in London, although I didn't actually get any lunch, so I am now just wolfing a banana along with my cup of tea and then I'm going to have an early dinner this evening so that I don't have to wait too long to eat but yes yeah, so my first meeting was with a uh, PR who I've known for a while um, and her company represents quite a lot of fragrances and she did give me some fragrances which when I come back from my walk with Gus I will show you what she gave me and also I did also get something from the Argos event as well which I'm very excited to show you <laughs> Um, so yeah, I will show you that in a bit as well. But yeah, just going to drink my tea and then head off to take uh, Gus for a walk. My dishwasher's making a right racket, so apologies if you hear that. But yeah, I thought I would show you some of the bits that I got uh, today. Sorry, I keep looking because I'm just I'm just trying to make sure that I'm actually in focus, you know. It, w it would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, I love perfume. I have a huge collection of perfume. I do have a lot. Um, but I like them. I think different fragrances are great for different times of year, different occasions. And I also, we were talking about this, me and Kat today, they also have such associations fragrances. So like, I obviously had a perfume on my wedding day, you know, I had a perfume actually for my honeymoon. And those perfumes I haven't thrown away, but I'm probably not going to wear them again because they'll just remind me too much of that thing, you know. So I always like discovering new fragrances that I can then have new associations with. So, the first one is by a brand called Toka. It's probably like something really posh, like Toka or something. Anyway, it's got a beautiful box. The box has got really pretty, like, illustrations on it. This one is called Florence, and Florence is very Parisian, and she likes to, you know, drink her coffee in Paris, and, you know, yeah, very sophisticated, which I like to think that's me. And also on the inside of the box is a little like sort of quote or whatever. And this one says love yourself. And I think that's quite appropriate for me at the moment. So in here is bergamot and violet with rich gardenia and blonde woods. But it's not like super, super florally. It is quite fresh. So I actually sprayed it in the box so I could smell it because I already had perfume on. It's really nice. The bottle's really pretty as well. It's got really pretty detailing. Isn't that nice? This is the thing about perfumes, you see. Often you get them because of the bottle, don't you? But then they don't smell very nice. This has a very nice bottle and it smells very nice. And then when I went to the Argos event, actually, let me go and grab it. I'll go and grab it and show you now. Look at this. It's a dressing gown. Basically, all the girls, all the team had these on at the event. And um, you could put one on if you wanted to, to wander around and it's got stars and constellations on it and I don't know if you know, if you've watched other of my videos, you'll know I'm massively into stars, constellations. I reckon my next tattoo is gonna be something to do with stars and constellations and moons as well. And in fact, I've got a little necklace on today which is all stars and moons. Anyway, this is from Argos because obviously the event was Argos. Didn't even know you could buy dressing gowns on Argos. And as I was leaving, I said to them, I'm going to buy myself that dressing gown. And they were like, oh, we've got spares. Would you like one? So they gave it me. I'm literally, God, I'm literally over the moon with it. It's so soft and snuggly. And uh, I do like a good dressing gown. So I am off to Ikea this morning. I'm going to go to Ikea on a little road trip. I'm quite excited, really. Um, if you're interested in what I'm wearing, I'm wearing a grey cashmere jumper, which actually was given to me by Emma. I'm trying to make more of an effort not to buy things. And when we went on our little charity shop hunt, I'd said that cashmere jumpers was one of the things that I was looking for because they're just so cosy. Um, and she said she had one which I could have, so she's given it me. I've got a couple of necklaces on which are both um, Maru jewellery. I've had them ages. 
And normally, you guys know, probably I wear gold mostly. Um, so yeah, to wear silver today is a little bit of a change. But yeah, I'm quite excited. I do like a little um, Ikea wonder. It will be my first one ever, I think, where I've gone on my own. And um, I quite like that because obviously I've got to start doing these things on my own, and I? Make my own choices, make my own decisions about things. Um, but I just know I'm going to spend more money than I thought I was going to. But, you know, there's quite a few things I need. So I'm just in the car outside Ikea. I'm just finishing my coffee uh, because I didn't really manage to drink a lot of it while I was driving. And it's then just absolutely started tipping it down. So I just, yeah, I've been hiding in the car a little bit. And I am going to go around the room setups um, to see if I can get some inspiration for my new house. Um, a bit, most of the stuff that I want will be in the marketplace. I'm not really coming for furniture. There's one, one unit that I want to look at that's something possibly for the kitchen. But it's actually an office unit. Uh, but yeah, mostly it's like curtains, um, accents, uh, maybe some towels and some plates. It's those kind of things, you know? Oh, I'm in a very nice room set up in here. Look at this table arrangement with all this gold stuff. Very nice. Wish this was my kitchen. It is not. Also, really love this outdoor thing with the lights in the plants. I'll be honest, it's a bit of a pathetic IKEA trolley really look. Not much in there at all. I did also buy a unit which I have to go and pick up, I've already paid for it. But yeah, not very exciting at all. Had loads of things I wanted to buy, couldn't find any of them. Okay! <clears throat> oh my god, I'm so shiny today. Anyway, I am back in the car. I got my one unit thing that I bought in the car. But yeah, I enjoyed my little wander on my own. I did have a little moment when I was a little bit like there was loads of couples who were all wandering around obviously choosing stuff for their house and there was a moment when I was like you know it's a bit like when I go one of the hardest things I find when I'm single now is supermarket shopping is my food shopping I get a bit upset when I go because I always feel like the supermarket's full of couples all choosing what they're gonna have for dinner and everything and for some reason it just always really affects me. I always feel really down after a supermarket shop. But I don't feel down after an Ikea shop, apart from the fact I didn't really get all the things that I wanted. Hello! It is Saturday. So I didn't really film anything yesterday um, because I just had a day of uh, <laughs> doing some... Oh, Eddie. Eddie's <gasps> half. Um, uh, I just had a day of doing some work bits and whatnot, and then I went <gasps> out last night. So I'm on a slight go slow today. <gasps> but um, jobs for today include building the stuff that I got from Ikea so I thought I would show you quickly what I got from Ikea I was very very reserved and didn't buy you know what I normally I'd come away with a load of candles and plants and all sorts but to be honest I'm struggling to fit everything into my house anyway as you saw on the tour you know I've got this whole table full of decor stuff and actually one of my jobs for tomorrow, I think, is to list some stuff on Facebook Marketplace and just get rid of some stuff because this house just isn't big enough for lots of stuff, you know. But that's fine. I don't mind. So in the big box, we've obviously got the kitchen unit that I bought, which actually is designed for the office. And it is actually quite an expensive unit, uh, considering what I'm going to use it for. However, it was the perfect size. It was the perfect um, shape. And so I decided to just go for it. So the other things that I got um, were some of these blankets. Now, I know that this is not necessarily great for the environment. And I will say that now and I will apologise for that. However, my dog Eddie is very poorly. He has bladder cancer and um, it does... Here he is. It does make him sometimes wet his bed. Well, actually quite a lot. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that it is a, a, a struggle. And so sometimes what I have to do, instead of washing his blankets, if they get to the point of being washed a few times and they're just not salvageable, is I do throw them away and I give him a new one. So I'm really sorry. I, I try my hardest to be you know, environmentally friendly, but this is just one of those areas that I struggle with and this makes it easier for me. So I'm just putting that out there. These are £1.75 at Ikea and it just means that he can have it for a bit and when it's trashed, I can just throw it away and I give him a new one. So I got four of them on the wall and I have a mirror hopefully coming to go in this alcove and then this is going to sit underneath this little shelf 
Where is it? I got gifted a print. Here it is. By a blogger friend of mine. She's got a little homeware store and she gifted me this print, which is all the different dog breeds. And I'm going to frame this print in here. I'm actually going to paint the frame gold and it's going to go in my little downstairs loo, you know, that I showed you earlier on the tour. I also got this very cute spotty doormat to go at my front door. So I need to take the um, tags off that and put that down in my front door. I got some um, brown um, wrapping paper for Christmas. I'm very into wrapping presents in brown paper and string and sort of leftovers. I've got some blog posts actually about how you can wrap presents and um, do it a bit more frugally, do it on a budget. And um, this paper is really, really good for that. And then the last thing I bought, um, that was the last thing, wasn't it? Yeah, as I said, I didn't really buy that much at all. It's this box. And um, it's a little storage box. Let me get it out. So yeah, this was obviously not on my list of things to buy. Um, however, it is a white box with a glass lid and it opens up and inside is all lined with felt. Now, if you didn't know this about me, I, when I was younger, wanted to be an archaeologist. Uh, and I was massively, well still am, really, really into fossils. And I have a collection of them, some of them which I have found myself over the years when I was younger, and a couple that I've bought. Now one of the ones that I've bought sits here on my little marble tables inside this glass box. So this is one of my favourite fossils, <sighs> dog hair, um, and I bought this from a fair, from a guy who was selling fossils. So this has been all polished and everything and made all lovely. And I, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So that sits in there. But in this little box here on my windowsill are all of my fossils and my favourite rocks and things like that. And yes, people, Deborah has bought herself a box for rocks. And I know that probably makes me a massive geek and uh, I don't care. <laughs> uh, anyway, so it's £12. You can actually wall mount it. You can wall mount it like that way round, like long. Um, so you could attach stuff inside. Um, but I don't know where mine's going to go. It's probably going to have to sit flat like this because obviously it's going to have rocks in it. But I just thought, what a nice way to display some of my favourite fossils. This is one of the first ever fossils that I ever found. <clears throat> I found this when I was very young at a place called St Mary's Lighthouse in Newcastle. So all my family are Geordie, uh, my, both my parents are, and that's where all my relatives live. So we would go there all the time. And I found this um, at St Mary's Lighthouse uh, by a rock pool. Um, and I've had it for years. And um, yeah, I just think it's beautiful. There's a little, let's see if we can focus on it. There is a little uh, ammonite one there. And another little ammonite one there. And I just I just think it's beautiful. So, so yeah, that's my plan. Is to put some of these nice things in the box. And put the box somewhere on display. I don't know where. But I thought for £12, I've never seen a box sort of like it. And I thought, why not? Why not, people? So yeah, there you go. You're learning all sorts of things about me now, aren't you? Family of Geordie, wanted to be an archaeologist. Anyway. So I need to crack on. So yeah, not a very exciting IKEA shop, was it? No. The unit is quite cool though. The unit is, um, you know, what I wanted. So I'm gonna crack on with the kitchen. Um, yeah, running stuff out to the shed. Um, it looks like it's gonna rain, so I'm gonna get it done now. Okay, so I've cleared the space for my unit to go here in the corner, so my next job. Hello. I'm going to build this unit now. I like building furniture. quite enjoy it. Especially, yeah, with a cup of tea and a bit of music on, so the dogs are a little bit nutty today, just following me around everywhere. But anyway, yeah, let's do some building.
today. So I finished building the unit. Um, I didn't um, film any more yesterday because I had a bit of a problem with some flies in my kitchen, like quite a bad problem. And I think it came from um, this thing, this food caddy. So, oh, Eddie. <sighs> yeah, he's, he's still coughing. Um, so in the UK, you can um, recycle your food and you have to put leftover food in this little plastic caddy. And I just don't think that the seal was tight enough. And I think then it caused a bit of a fly problem. So basically, it had to go out. I bought a load of cleaning products um, and some bleach and stuff. And I came back and I just blitzed everything. I cleaned all my bins out, cleaned out that, cleaned all on top of my cupboards, everywhere. So that's kind of what I was doing yesterday. And you don't really need, you know, you don't want to watch that. So here's the finished unit, all in place in the corner of my kitchen. Um, and I went to Aldi and actually picked up this little... Um, food mat for the dogs um, which collects any water that they spill or anything but yeah it works really really well because basically it has this hook on the side um, as I said it's supposed to be for an office but a hook on the side so I can hang um, Gus's lead and harness on there and then in the top I've got towels and Eddie's um, bands and then I've got my grooming kit and food and then down here in the drawer I've got um, grooming toys and then bits and bobs of like toothbrushes and syringy things for Eddie's different ailments but yeah and then I've left a little gap so I can put my little mop down the side but it fits in that little gap really great and the thing is the reason why I like it is this metal um perforated metal will then tie in with when I get those notice boards um, from Ikea. Oh, I don't know if I showed you them, actually. Maybe I didn't, but at Ikea they do these white um, notice boards which are metal with perforations in them and you can hang all different things on them like hooks and cups and all sorts. I'm going to get one or two to go on this wall here in the kitchen and then that will all tie in with that white metal there as well. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, today's job is actually I'm going to be painting pumpkins so every year I do um, a tutorial sometimes on my blog sometimes on my YouTube this one's actually going to go on my IGTV um, and it's going to be all about painting pumpkins for Halloween I'm a tiny little bit late I should have done it sooner so I need to do it today and get it up tonight really so it's going to be a film and edit all in one day but yeah I've got two pumpkins oh I also got myself some little mini ones which I might paint as well so I need to first thing to do is to wash these and then I need to go in the shed and just get out some more paint and then I need to that table that was absolutely covered in decor stuff that's all got to be cleared because that's where I'm going to sit and do the DIY and I'm going to get my ring light on because it's a little bit dark today and I'm going to film that so I'm going to crack on with that now and I will catch you guys later so this is how it turned out it's on my Instagram TV if you want to see um, how I made it how I painted it but yeah I'm really really pleased with it and there's going to be a pink one to match uh, which will be the treat so this is the trick pumpkin and there's going to be a treat pumpkin and they're going to sit in my window so I'm going to end the vlog there I hope that you've enjoyed uh, spending the week with me in my new house and as I said, I'm going to do some separate videos for some of the rooms, like the bedroom with a bit of a, a wardrobe tour and oh, and um, a little makeup dressing room tour as well. And I'm going to do a spare room makeover video as well. So and hopefully lots of other things based around um, the house and just, yeah, vloggy videos and hopefully some obviously more fashion content as well so yeah thank you so much for watching do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and of course do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber we always say that but um yeah i i appreciate every single one of you guys so thank you so so much and i will catch you again soon bye